Hi everyone, I just wanted to give a quick update as it is December 31st and I wanted to show the progress that I've made so far on my project um, Use It Up 2022 Winter Edition. I have gone through so many of the products which really amazes me, like I took a very aggressive approach to it. Um, and to see that this is what I can use up within almost two weeks time. I started December 22nd, it's now December 31st. Um, so I will show you everything I'm using, as well as all of these items that I will also be including in the project now. Um, some of the items that I did add after, I have used them up already and they are now in my empties. So to go through first, I will, um, I guess I'll just start showing what I've used. Um, I finished off the Body Claire Neutrogena. It does look like there's some in there. Even pouring it out, taking the cap off, I have not been able to get it out. Um, but we started there and we have now pretty much finished it. This is the Body Claire by Neutrogena. Um, I finished off the Originals Hair Mayonnaise. I really did not like this. Um, it made my hair feel very straw-like in when I, when I was in the shower. Um, my last time using it, I decided, you know what, I'm going to, because it has oil in there, I'm going to use it before the shower and see if that actually helps it to not make my hair feel greasy and straw-like. It did really work. Um, I don't think I will be repurchasing this just because of how much difficulty I did have with it, but it's not, it's not a bad hair mask. Next is, um, it's not the Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte. Um, I just had some Nivea cream in here started up there. I finished it completely. Um, one thing I found with the amount of creams that I had is really making a routine of first thing in the morning, you know, I bring my big basket of stuff that I have to use up, only use those products, um, fully lather myself in cream in the morning, right before bed, same thing. And my skin has been so hydrated. My skin has never been so smooth. Um, so one thing with this this project is I'm realizing that it's it's making me take better care of my skin and in doing so it's I mean uses up my products it's great for me it's great for everything so with that being said um I finished off the NYX Nixon Sculpt Relief Shampoo and Conditioner um I didn't have a lot to finish up as you can see but they are done I would not purchased this. I got this sent to me um, for review. It's not bad. The only thing is though, um, these don't have any parabens or silicones and, or I mean, sulfates. And I need that in my hair. I need at least one of them. Otherwise my scalp breaks out like crazy. So although I did love the smell, I would not purchase this because it doesn't have the stuff that I need for my hair. Um, the next item I used up is the Hydrolite tabs. I do have another one, a full full one that I'm going to be adding to the project again, but I did finish off these. Um, I really don't suggest getting the lemon ones. I think they have an orange flavored one that's great, but this lemon one tastes like dirty socks. So I'm trying to power through the next one that I have. And then again, I will be repurchasing this flavor. Um, <clears throat> I finished off the Chi Ionic Color Eliminator in Red Auburn. Um, it just kind of, I don't know if you can really see, but it puts some kind of color to my hair, which is enough for me. Um, I do really like this brand and I do like this color depositing mask. Um, it's definitely better than, like I also finished off the Moroccan oil one. It's cheaper than this and I find the colors that they have is a lot nicer than this. So both of these I finished. I won't repurchase this, but I will repurchase this. Um, not in the Red Urban, but I do have... I think the coffee bean one that is also in my February um, end of the project use up. The next item I have is this Bath and Body Works Eucalyptus Tea Shower Steamers. There was three left in here. I used them up. Um, when I bought them, I thought I would love them. Didn't really use them. Um, and then having them be in the project, being forced to use them, I actually did really enjoy them. Um, I do have another one left. I think it's in the Eucalyptus Spearmint one. So we'll see after I finish that on if it is something that I want to repurchase. Um, but I think it's just kind of a novelty item, so I'm not quite too sure if I would purchase them. Um, the next item is this Wild 
growth hair oil. Now this was not originally in the project, but I did add it. There wasn't a ton left in here. Um, I do have the other one that I still need to finish up. So this one I finished, this one is being added to the project. I finished off the Nuvera Quick Recovery Mask. I only had like one use left in it. I do love it. I do have a backup that I'm gonna start using. Um, after that, I'm not quite too sure if I would repurchase it. It is a little expensive. And just with being a mom now, most of my money goes towards my egg baby. Next item I use is Avocado Buddy uh, Body Butter. There was quite a bit left in here, but I thought we finished it. And I loved this. The scent of it is so nice. It's just, it's a very, um, it's a very simple scent that you can layer with your perfumes and your body mists. And so I would always put this on um, first thing in the morning and it just, it made my body feel so luxurious, like so soft and so smooth. I would repurchase it. Um, the only thing is I have so many body shop body butters left to go through. Seeing though how long it took to use this, I don't think I'll be adding more than one to a project at a time just because the body butters go through, you go through them very slowly compared to like lotions. So I love it. But until I finish all my other ones, I won't be repurchasing it. I finished off Living Proof Restore Perfecting Spray. Someone sent this to me. Um, it was nice, but it's not something that I would purchase myself. I finished off the Body Shop um, Shea Butter uh, Scrub. It's not bad. I think it may have expired because it was kind of kind of stale smelling. It was nice, but I'm not a big body scrub person. Um, I'd rather either make my own, but I wouldn't spend money on purchasing them. I finished up the All A Dream um, body mist. There wasn't a ton left in here, maybe up to there, but it took so long to use this. I was like going heavy handed on this brain and it took, like I said, from the 22nd up until the 31st using this twice a day. The next item was the Neutrogena Oil Free um, Pink Grapefruit. Uh, scrub. I didn't use this on my face. I've been trying to find other ways to use products if I don't like them. So with this one, I've been using it on my underarms and my inner thighs just because I tend to I tend to break out in those areas. Um, so it was really nice for that, but I won't be repurchasing this. I finished off the Wow Dream Coat Supernatural Spray. This was not part of the project originally. I did add it in and I am now finished it. I don't mind it. I had I have had the full size before. But it's just not something that I would use on my hair anymore. Um, I finished off the uh, My Magic Mud Activated Charcoal. This was not bad. I would not be I would not be repurchasing it, just because there is still product in there, but it's hard, so I can't use it. <clears throat> I finished off the Tarte Marajuca Oil. This I would not use it on my skin, I like on my face. But I did add it to my body cream and just kind of had it as another oil to put on my body. And lastly is the Clinique Moisture Surge Deluxe Sample. This was not part of the project originally, but I added it in and I've used it up. I do have a full size um, jar of this because I do really enjoy it. So I won't be repurchasing it because I do have more to go through. Now, with that being said, um, the items that I'm going to be adding to the list is um, this Wild Growth moisture, uh, Light Oil Moisture. Um, I did empty it out of this bottle and I put it in a, um, like hair, like a hair oiler bottle so it's easier to actually put on my scalp. But that I'm adding, I'm adding these two All About Clean um, Clinique Facial Soaps. I got them for a Christmas gift. So I started working on this one. I'm almost finished it, and then when I'm done, I will be using this one. I'm adding the Awakening Eye Cream by Forever, the Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Lotion Sample, Deluxe Sample, the Clinique Clarifying Lotion Number 3. This was completely full. This is how much I have used since um, I added it in about three days after I started the project. I don't use it on my face because it's not the right um, level for me, so I use it on my inner thighs. Um, this Clinique Moisture Surge Overnight Mask. This is completely full. I haven't used it yet. This Mario Badescu Skincare um, Spray. I dropped it, so 
the nozzle piece is missing so it doesn't spray out so i'm gonna have to use it on the cotton pad i'm not sure if i will use it for my face or just for my inner thighs i have noticed though using toners on my inner thighs um has stopped me from um breaking out there i don't know what it is but like after pregnancy um i don't know if this is a postpartum thing but like i break out on my inner thighs like crazy now like not like like acne but like cysts and like they're really painful so since i've been using toner on my um, inner thighs it hasn't been happening um so that's what i might use this for um i have this lancer caviar lime acid peel i do really enjoy this um i don't know if i would buy the full size because it is expensive and i still have a lot of other peels that i want to get through to but once i'm done all that if i do remember this then i will probably pick this up I have two lip creams, the Ultra Repair Intensive Lip Balm by First Aid Beauty. There's not a ton left in here. Um, surprisingly, when I first bought this, I actually didn't really like it, so I like never used it. But now with it being winter, um, where I am, my lips are like windburnt, sunburnt, they're sore, they're just, they hurt. So using this has really been nice on it. Um, the next one is a Fresh Sugar Caramel Hydrating Lip Balm. Again, not a whole ton left, but um, I know I'll be able to get through this by end of February. And I have three more items. Two of them are these Tetley cold infusions. They might be expired, maybe not, I don't know. But I'm gonna use them anyways. So I'm hoping this will kind of help me drink my water. I do really like um, this mint, lemon, and cucumber one. And then I have a raspberry and cranberry. They did, I think, have a watermelon one, which was not good not good at all i think i actually threw that one out but there is let me see two four six there's a nine in this one and two, there's five in this one and then lastly i have these crust vivid white strips i have six of them left um i do only use them about once a week just because my teeth are really sensitive but i have really liked them um i don't know if i really purchased them just because i don't know i go through phases where i feel like my teeth are not white and then i look at them in photos and i'm like they're like very very white like whitening white um so i just don't think i need whitening strips anytime soon once i finish these anyways <clears throat> those are the products that i'm going to be adding to it I know it does seem like I have a lot of products in my project to use it up, but I find um, like when I go to the washroom to do my skincare, to take a shower and stuff like that, I will literally bring this whole bag with me. And these are the only products I will use while I'm, you know, getting ready. Um, oh, sorry, I forgot to add. I'm adding this new bear um, lotion. It's quite full it's up to here anyways i will only bring that with me and i will only use products from there and that's how i am able to have so many empties is because like i said those are the only products that i'm using um this is just kind of so just to kind of do a really big clean out before i can start allowing myself to use my other products once all of this stuff is gone I have room in my space to bring out my items that I like and I can start using those in, um, what is it? I can start using them while I'm using the Project Use It Up products. Um, so anyways, like I said, I'm hoping to have another successful um, month. I'm going to update you guys in the January to see what I've used up and what I have left still. And hopefully we can finish this bake off. Anyways, I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you guys are going to have a happy new year. And if you are doing a project, use it up. Please let me know and take me in the comments.